One of the first problems Critter Junction had to solve was package delivery. Once they made a change to code, how would it get deployed to users in a scalable fashion? Let's look at how Critter Junction implemented a gated, tag-based CICD pipeline. When Critter Junction was just a prototype, bundling up their app and sharing it with the testing team was fairly simple. The coders could just email a link to the application running on their dev machines. But as the application and its development team grew, that was no longer feasible. Manually testing and deploying changes to the code base became a bottleneck for the team. Without a reliable, mostly automatic process to build, test, and update their microservice-based application, Critter Junction just wasn't gonna be able to scale to the level they dreamed of. So they implemented a CI-CD pipeline using Cloud Build, Google's serverless CI-CD platform, and Spinnaker, an open source continuous delivery platform. This allowed them to rapidly iterate and test the code base. The high level steps of this pipeline are as follows. A developer changes code and pushes it to a repository. Cloud Build detects the changes, builds a Docker image, tests the image, and pushes the image to Artifact Registry. Spinnaker detects that image, deploys it to a staging environment, and tests the deployment. After all tests have passed, the release manager can manually approve the build and deploys the image to production. Let's look at each of these steps. First, the team was already using Git to manage their source code. As is common in game dev, they store binary assets elsewhere and pull those in when a build occurs. Using Git allows devs to check out a new branch of the code base to do their work in before merging it back to the main branch after it's tested. This lets developers easily work with other developers and gives you a lot of flexibility in your workflow. Critter Junction took advantage of Git tags to create a CI-CD pipeline that kicks off whenever a new tag is pushed into the Git repository. They use Cloud Build to produce application binary and set up a trigger to watch for any commits with a Git tag prefixed with the letter V. In addition to commits with a specific tag, triggers can look for commits on a branch or pull request. It then automatically starts a build and tests a new Docker image and pushes it to Artifact Registry, which is a single place for your organization to manage container images and language packages. Check out our new series on Artifact Registry in the link below. And the final leg of the process is kicked off once Spinnaker detects the new image in Artifact Registry. From there, Spinnaker will deploy the image into a scaled down staging environment for integration testing. These preliminary tests allow Critter Junction to have the best chance at minimizing failures. Once those tests pass, a build engineer is allowed to flip a bit and push the new image out to production where Critter Junction's audience can access the new feature. Between Git, Cloud Build, Artifact Registry, and Spinnaker, Critter Junction was able to develop an automatic, gated, tag-based continuous integration and deployment pipeline that allowed for faster iterations, more flexibility, and reliability for their containerized environment. This pipeline allowed Critter Junction to smoothly scale up and quickly add new features as their game gained more audience and acclaim. Check out the link below to learn more, and thanks for joining us for Season 3 of Season of Scale on microservices, statelessness, and continuous delivery. Stay tuned for what's next for Critter Junction, and remember, always be architecting.